This picture is one of the most enigmatic and fantastic works in the world art. Playing with symbols and signs, Hieronymus Bosch created a grandiose painting symphony in which we can hear divine hymns, songs of triumphant love, or terrible roar of an infernal machine. The canvas, The Garden of Earthly Delights, is a hinged picture. This form allows to see not only one picture, but four pictures united by general conception and symbolic implication. There are four cosmic conditions of the created world. The outer wings depict the world on the third day of creation, when there are no animals and man yet. Only mountains and ponds are lit up by the rays of the sun, struggling through gloomy clouds. The inner wings of the picture form a triptych. The left wing depicts Garden of Eden. Hieronymus Bosch filled it with exotic plants and animals. Perhaps this is sort of the treatise on the origin of life on the earth. It seems that perfect harmony fills this world, but evil is not asleep. And a cat is already holding a stifled mouse in its clenched teeth, and a predator is racking a killed fallow deer. And in the beautiful fountain of life, you can see an insidious owl, a symbol of an evil, dark, devilish force that is born together with life. The evil that originated in Eden wildly blossoms on the earth. The researchers call the central panel of the Garden of Earthly Delights the false paradise. The cavalcade of naked riders with huge fish and birds move round a closed circle. This is the way of mankind, endless and in a deadlock, because temptation and sin are in the center of the circle. There are lush thickets with fountains and exotic animals around. The lake with four channels is the four cardinal points, and the depiction of flying people may mean that love for the artist is the flight of the spirit, the highest form of his existence. Many symbols borrowed by Bosch from popular beliefs, mystic literature, and alchemy still defy decoding. In the Middle Ages, everything could be a symbol of both sin and virtue. For example, a black pecking bird is a symbol of both lust and wisdom, and a big juicy fruit is a symbol of life and vice at the same time. A living human mass fusses among whimsical plants, absurd half-mechanisms, and half-animals in the false paradise of the Garden of Earthly Delights. People without faces are deprived of individuality. Their poses are intentionally artificial and often look like hieroglyphs. Perhaps Bosch tried to convey a message that a carnal sin bars the way to salvation. His picture of the false paradise is an allegoric censure of vice. And it will inevitably be followed by hell where human stupidity and meanness lead to. The place of sinners, awful torments, on the right wing of the Garden of Earthly Delights is peopled with the strangest and obscene creatures which have ever been born by an artist's fantasy. The bird-headed creature that swallows sinners, lets them go through its womb, and precipitates them into the abyss is supposedly the accusation of covetousness and gluttony or indifference to misfortunes of other people. The demon of gain has a board for backgammon and false dice in his hands. Marked cards are scattered about. A hand of a thrown-down player, pierced with a rapier, can testify to the punishment for card-shaping and cupidity. The pig in the headgear of a Dominican, persuading a man to sign the devilish alliance, may be a symbol of depravity of clergy. There is a special musical hell in the underworld, where musical instruments are converted into torture machines, and sinners suffer tortures from the things they enjoyed when they were alive. The researchers think that among the crowd of characters, even the self-portrait of the artist can be found. This is the face of the monstrous rotten tree of death, or the tree of knowledge, standing in the musical hell. Perhaps in this way, Bosch expresses his fervent desire to understand the mysteries of the hell, and at the same time he is afraid to learn something that can ruin the soul of a true Christian.
The Garden of Earthly Delights strikes with abundance of details and countless characters. Like a brilliant director, Bosch rules this great crawling mass of people, animals, and mechanical forms, organizing them in a harmonious system. The real life of Europe in the Middle Ages, with its ruin of religious dogmas, waiting for the doomsday and its social mess, transform into a striking picture of world evil in Bosch's brilliant imagination. For four centuries, art critics have been looking for a clue to Bosch's wonderful images, but without success. A Spanish monk called José de Sigüenza wrote, Other artists try to show how people look from the outside, but Bosch is brave enough to depict a man on the inside. Probably the Flemish painter of the 16th century, Hieronymus Bosch, was the greatest preacher of all times, and to reason the believers created his picture, The Garden of Earthly Delights. <laughs>